Hey guys, it's me, Kristen. I don't know if I've ever introduced myself um, as far as my name, but my name's Kristen. Anyway, um, some things I wanted to share with you guys. Um, excuse the hair, it's just doing its own thing today. It's messy and pulled back. Anyway, um, so this last Sunday, my uh, boyfriend Tyler and I had a great day. Got up, went to breakfast, went to the swap meet, and um, beautiful weather, so we decided to go out to my dad's house and visit with uh, he and my stepmother. And um, somehow the conversation turned into uh, an intervention of sorts for my surgery. And basically it was just my dad stating that, you know, um, they were really not going to support me at all. They thought it was a terrible idea that they did research on this particular doctor, Dr. Hoya, and that the, it would be Russian roulette at best. And um, so just voiced a lot of concerns that they wouldn't be going with me. And... Um, it was even brought up, you know, that my dad wouldn't know what to do with himself if I died, and so on and so forth. So basically, I had to promise them that I wouldn't do the surgery. And I was crying and in tears and just really upset at their lack of um, compassion and obviously that... Um, they didn't trust my decision, and they didn't trust that I was knowledgeable um, or that I even did uh, any research at all or that I, you know, it just basically seemed to me that they felt that I just randomly picked a doctor and um, just randomly picked, um, you know, uh, a blog or a vlog or anything that I just didn't really um, arm myself with knowledge and even though I had sent many links to them and had tried speaking to them many times about it they just basically um, I guess were going along with me until I finally was like no I'm really doing this and then um, that's when they um, decided to put their foot down and voiced to me all of their concerns so yeah, it was really frustrating and it broke my heart for a few reasons. Um, one, because like I said, I feel like they don't trust my opinion and they don't trust my um, ability to research something for myself. And um, also I feel that um, they're taking other people's word and more into consideration than my own. And um, the fact that they would refuse to go with me and that um, they just thought that it was a really bad idea. And uh, then of course, you know, they brought up the whole like diet and exercising and doing it the right way. And you know, you guys, it just doesn't work for me that way. Believe me, if it did, I wouldn't be the way I am today. I wouldn't have yo-yoed up and down my entire life. I uh, just turned 30 in October. This past October, I'm looking at 31. And I've probably been on at least two diets every year since I was eight years old. You name it. <laughs> Honestly. I've done Nutrisystem. I've done Atkins. I did Richard Simmons, I did, um, even most recently, I did Insanity, which honestly, what was I thinking? Um, I did Medi Weight Loss, I did, um, of course, Low Calorie, Low Fat, Low Sugar, Fat Free, uh, switching over to Whole Grains, I was even a vegetarian for a while when I was a teenager. Um, ruthless exercising, exercising until I wanted to fall out and collapse. 
you name it. I've done it. I've counted calories. I have done everything. I've lift I've done weightlifting, you know, light weights to build muscle to burn more fat. Um, the fact of the matter is I'm hyperthyroid. I am I have fibromyalgia and um I just don't work like that. I don't. I don't work like normal people. I don't it just doesn't work for me. And it breaks my heart that I know that they've seen me struggle my entire life and yet they still don't get it. And of course, you know, they said if you really want to do it, then do it the right way and save up money and get it done here in the States and get it done by an accredited surgeon and by someone that you can have routine follow-up appointments with, which I get, I understand. I do need to see a nutritionist. I do need to see a doctor you know, that's going to make sure that I'm getting the proper care and nutrition. I understand all those things. Um, but my insurance doesn't cover it and I can't afford it out of pocket. So um, right now I'm just kind of in limbo. I don't really know what to do. Everything that I thought that I was going to do um, is just kind of thrown out the wayside. So anyway. For now, I don't really know what I'm going to do. It's kind of up in the air. I'm like, should I even continue making videos? Is it even necessary to make videos? I don't even, you know, what's the point? Um, and then there's a part of me that's like, I still want to go to Mexico and see Dr. Hoya, period. I still want to do it. And if it means going by myself, then I'll go by myself. And um, that scares me. Because I wish I could have someone that wants to go with me and that wants to be there for me. But, um, you know, you do what you got to do. And I'm not going to break down and cry. I don't want to show you guys any weakness on my part. Um, I'm going to remain um, an adult and professional. And um, I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. But I am still doing my research. And I'm still planning on uh, doing something. I don't know just yet what that something is, but I'm not going to give up. And um, I'll let you guys know what I end up doing, obviously. Um, if you if y'all want me to, to update, I will. I definitely will. And um, if it means me having to do it the old-fashioned way, then I'll still vlog about that because I really appreciate all my new subscribers. I appreciate all the shout outs and all of the love and support and welcoming that you guys have done so, so much, so greatly. I really appreciate it. And, um, feels like my own little community that I have with you guys on here. And, um, I, I support all of you as well. And, um, so yeah, anyway, until next time, um, I'm going to see what I'm going to do. I'm going to see about taking out some personal loans and maybe going to go see some of the surgeons here in my, uh, in my town here. I don't think anyone here does the vertical sleeve gastrectomy. I think they all just do the, bi the bypass, which I, wasn't com I, just, I don't really want to do that. But I'm just going to go see. Maybe I can do a consultation. Hopefully it's not too much money out of pocket since my insurance company won't cover it. But... Um, I guess for right now, Mexico is out of the question because, like I said, I would be going by myself and against everyone's wishes, against my promise that I wouldn't go. So, anyway, hope you all are all having a great day. It's beautiful outside. The weather here is gorgeous. It's so sunny and beautiful. It's probably really bright out there. You probably can't see. I'm just going to show you guys how pretty it is outside. So anyway, I hope y'all are all enjoying your day and oh, there's the camera <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.